right, you guys wanna learn how to make a pizza? A stretch pizza? Looks a little something like this. Make your crust line, leave your center meat. Flip it over. flour on the board the flour on the board i know production quality is incredible right now check this out that's where the high end eye coordination comes in video games baseball whatever you're into there we go how guido is that look check it out pizza dough i'm gonna give you a little how-to need like a drone in here production value is not fantastic but you get it by the uh the technique it's all in the technique i'm gonna use this pinky here keep that on your crust line see this is actually the easiest part of stretching the pizza where most people fail with this is that their dough is so left out on the counter and soft and then it just falls apart every time they do this but you want your dough a little firm you want it to be room temperature ideally when you cook it but it's difficult for novices to stretch with so keep your dough firm Alright, so pizza stretcher 101. Gonna make your crust line. Gonna leave your center meat here. Flip it over. Now, if you're not smacking the dough, you're not doing it as Italian enough, okay? That's what I'm saying, you need a little flour on your board. That's how you stretch a pizza. All right, now watch this with the bubbles. You're gonna let the steam out of them. You do have to break the dough. I know, I know. It's hot. You use a fork. Wouldn't use a pen. I mean, I guess you could use a knife. Pizza cutters are pretty typical of the industry. And you gotta get that cheese moved over. That's why the bubbles don't dry out. Look, we've got a couple more in here. It's five. This pie is really light cook, but you want to get them early. This way they don't dry out. Um, those will put holes in your dough, like in the middle of the dough. And if you end up with dough layers, you're going to end up with dry dough.